Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to yet another video from Bye Buddy. And in this video, we will be moving forward to the next topic, that is the simple permanent tissues. So in the previous videos, beta, we have studied what are tissues, how are tissues made, different types of tissues, plant tissues, animal tissues, and how are plant tissues basically divided into metastomatic and permanent tissues, and how are metastomatic tissues divided further on the basis of their location. Right? So all these things we have done till the previous video. Now in this part of the video, we will be basically moving on with the simple permanent tissue. Right? So all of you can see here that I have drawn these diagrams here. Okay? So these diagrams are basically beta, the parts or the types of different types of simple permanent tissues. Right? So I will just give you a recap of what we studied in the previous video beta. In the last video, I told you that better there are two types of basically the plant cells, right? The first one is the meristematic tissue and the second one is the permanent tissue, right? So meristematic tissue we have covered up in the previous video, right? But I told you that the permanent tissue is also of two types, the simple, uh, simple permanent tissues and the complex permanent tissues. Okay, so simple permanent tissues beta, they are basically what? They are made up of same type of cells. But the complex permanent tissues, they are made up of different types of cells. Okay, when different different cells are combining, they are making complex permanent tissues. And when same types of cells are combining, they are making simple permanent tissue. Okay, so simple permanent tissue, let's get started with that. But before that, I would like to tell you that simple permanent tissues beta, they are basically of four types. Okay, I'm just writing their name here. So the first type is beta, the parenchyma. And the first diagram that I have drawn, that is also of parenchyma. Second is colenchyma. And the third one is beta, sclerenchyma. Okay, so parenchyma. Colenchyma and sclerenchyma. These are basically the three types of uh, simple permanent tissue. And last one is the protective tissue. This is the protective tissue. Fine. So now we are in this. First of all, we will be studying about parenchyma. Okay. So this structure is of the parenchyma. Okay, this is what beta, the parenchyma, simple permanent tissue. Now, parenchyma beta, the main function of the parenchyma is that it is helping in the storage of food and providing mechanical support. Okay, I am writing it here, it provides mechanical support and stores food. And it stores Food. Okay, it provides mechanical support and it is storing food. Now you can see here beta, there are intercellular spaces here. Okay, so you can say that intercellular spaces are present or you can say intercellular spaces are more. Okay, the intercellular spaces as you can see in diagram number one. The intercellular spaces are more. So then how will be the cells packed beta? Therefore, the cells are loosely packed. Cells are loosely packed. Okay beta, and it consists of which type of cells beta? The living cells or the dead cells? It has beta living cells. The cells which are present inside, they are living cells. They are living cells. Cells. Okay, cells which are present inside they are living cells and they are very loosely packed. So obviously the intercellular spaces will be more in number or more in quantity and they provide mechanical support and it stores food. Now it are further parenchyma is of two types: the chlorenchyma, the chlorenchyma, and the erenchyma. Alright. So basically the parenchyma is further divided into two parts. The first one is chlorenchyma and the second one is erenchyma. So chlorenchyma, the name is only suggesting this type of parenchyma cells have chlorophyll in them because it has chloro. 
this chlorenchyma, the name is chlorenchyma, that means it has stored chlorophyll. So you will say the parenchyma which has stored chlorophyll, that is known as the chlorenchyma. And erenchyma will be what better? The parenchyma cells or the parenchyma tissues which are having air in them. Okay, which have air in them. They are known as basically better, better what? They are known as erenchyma. They basically have air spaces. They have air spaces. Okay, so that is the reason they are known as this way. The uh, parenchyma, mechanical support it is providing beta and stores food, intercellular spaces are more, cells are loosely packed, it is further of two types, chlorenchyma, erenchyma and living cells are present inside it. Okay, now let's come to the next one. The next one is beta, the columnchyma. So this diagram which I have drawn here, this is of the columnchyma. So what happens in colon chyma beta? It is also providing mechanical support and I am writing it here. It provides mechanical support. Okay, very important. It provides mechanical support and flexibility. And flexibility. Okay, we are talking about colon chyma. Then intracellular spaces are less. Okay, less intracellular spaces and cells are tightly packed. Cells are tightly packed. Due to, these are the red things which are present, due to thickened corners. These are thickenings present at the corners. So that is the reason they are tightly packed due to thickened corners. Due to thickened corners. Why? They are tightly packed due to thickened corners. Okay. Then beta, the cells present inside it, they are also having what? Living cells. Okay. They are also having living cells and they are hard in nature. They are having which type of cells beta? Living cells which makes them harder as compared to the parenchyma. Parenchyma is not very hard. Parenchyma is loose. Okay, but colonchyma is comparatively hard, right? It is present in the epidermis, right? Where is it present? It is present in the leaf stalk below the epidermis. It is present in the leaf stalk below the epidermis. Okay, the last one beta we will be talking about now is the Sclerenchyma. After that, a short note on uh, protective tissues I will be giving to you. Okay. So now we are talking about beta what? The last one is the sclerenchyma. Now sclerenchyma is basically providing beta the rigidity and hardness and stiffness to the plant. It provides rigidity, rigidity, hardness and stiffness to the plant okay it is providing stiffness hardness rigidity to the plant right then beta what happens here the cells are long they are narrow and their walls are thickened okay cells are long narrow thickened walls with lignin Thickened walls having lignin. Very important point. Mark it. Right? Then what happens, beta? These cells, these cells are very tightly packed. They are very tightly packed. Okay, no intercellular space. There is no intercellular space. Okay, there is no intercellular space. The cells here are dead cells. Dead cells. Which led to me kya tha beta? In parenchyma, colonchyma, the cells were living. But in sclerenchyma, the cells are dead. An example is coconut husk. Example is coconut husk. Got it? Then protective tissue is basically a sheet type or a layer type of a structure on the plant. So you can say a lamination called as the epidermis. And it is basically protecting the plant. Right? From any haphazard condition, from the unfavorable weather conditions, etc. 
ओके सो दैट इज इट अबाउट द सिंपल परमानेंट टिश्यूज बेटा इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल बी मूविंग ऑन विद कॉम्प्लेक्स परमानेंट टिश्यूज इन डिटेल ओके सो इन केस ऑफ एनी डाउट एनी इश्यूज एनी प्रॉब्लम यू कैन आस्क इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन आई विल बी हैपी टू हेल्प एंड स्टे ट्यून फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीडियो एंड टिल देन डू नॉट फोर गेट टू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड सी यू गाइज इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन टेक केयर